What's going on guys, it's Nico Moreno here and I'm coming at you today with another awesome free video on chatbots. So what we're gonna be talking about today is chatbots for coaches and consultants. So if you are a high-end coach, a high-end consultant, or you offer any sort of coaching or consulting services for yourself, if you're you know building chatbots for other people and you wanna offer this as a service to coaches and consultants, then this is the video for you. Now, before we get into it, I wanna invite you to give this video a like if you find value in it, if you enjoy this video, um, if you enjoy the content I put out, I would really, really appreciate a like. And if you wanna get more awesome free content from me, be sure to click the subscribe button below. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the training right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna share my screen, and then I'll show you exactly what I'm doing inside of my ManyChat account so you guys can follow along step by step. Um, I've had success with this myself, as well as doing it for other clients, as well as people who are in the course um, doing it for other clients too. So this strategy works really, really well. And yeah, so first step, let's dive right into it. First step is we're gonna create a new growth tool. Okay, so there's a couple different ways, um, a couple different growth tools that you can do. I always like to just do the messenger ref URL because it's super easy, uh, it's super versatile, and you can put it just about anywhere. You can put it in a button, you can put it in an email, you can put it on a Facebook post and a Facebook ad, um, YouTube video, Instagram, like literally you can put this anywhere, which is why I like it so much. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna welcome them. And with coaching and consulting, it can be a little bit different because if you're doing a high-end uh, high coaching package, then you're probably, gonna have, you're probably gonna have a webinar or something like that or a sort of a, you know, a sales presentation as your initial quote unquote lead magnet, okay? So, but if you're gonna, if you're not doing that route, then you're just gonna have some other sort of lead magnet, right? So maybe it's like an ebook, maybe it's, a video series or something like that. So whatever you have going on, um, you're gonna wanna just like deliver the lead magnet in the very first opt-in message here. So we're gonna say like, hey, first name, thanks for requesting your free um, ebook. So we'll just do the example of an ebook right now. But again, if you're doing a webinar or sales presentation, you can say something very similar, but just direct them to the webinar instead. It says, thanks for requesting your free ebook. Um, oh, and here's a little known trick. If you put these two asterisks, asterisks, so I don't know how to say it, uh, around, the, around your text, around a specific part of the text, it's gonna bold it uh, when people actually read it. It doesn't show it up right here, but when people get the message um, in Facebook Messenger, it's gonna be bolded. So we could say the five simple steps to landing, um, agency clients that pay. So this part is gonna be bolded right here um, when people see it. So that's a cool little trick that um, I don't know where, I don't know how I figured that out, but I, like nobody ever tells you that stuff, so. Um, and then we can do something like click below, or we can also tell them what they're gonna learn, okay? So we can say inside this ebook, you're going to learn and then it's a really great way to just get them excited about what you're gonna teach them. So I'm gonna create a couple of check boxes here. I'm gonna say, inside this ebook, you're free, or inside this free ebook, you're going to learn how to find the perfect clients for you, um, how to discover whether or not you're already um, using chatbots, the two e easiest ways to close clients on the spot, and um, much, much more. Click below to grab your free ebook now. And we can just do something like that. And then what you wanna do here is you wanna click add button. And then ideally you have like a download link or something like that for, uh, for your ebook or your free resource. So if you're sending them a video or something like that, then you can just paste the link in here. Um, but ideally you have this saved as like a Dropbox file or something like that. So you can just paste the URL in here. So I'm just gonna put 
Google right now because in order to save this, I need to have an actual URL in there. Uh, but you would paste your free lead magnet, the link to your free lead magnet um, right here. What you can also do if you, for whatever reason, you can't create a link, um, and let's say like, get it now. Um, if you can't create you know, a download link for whatever reason, you can also host the file directly in here. You can just click that. Um, this is sometimes a little bit screwy though. So I would just be careful with that. Um, it's some, I've had some people say like they didn't get it. So I would, I would definitely go this route if possible. Okay, so that's all we do here. We just click publish and we're good with our first message. Um, then what we're gonna do is we also need an automation sequence to follow up with them beyond that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to automation and sequences. We're gonna create a new sequence. And this is gonna be um, coaching, we'll just call this like coaching offer follow up sequence. So let's create a new message. We'll create, we'll probably do like four follow ups, okay? Um, I'm not gonna go through like all of them in depth, but what I would do here is, so we're gonna add people, so let's do that before we forget. One thing that you definitely wanna make sure you do is go back to your growth tool once you've created the sequence. Oh, we should name this coaching offer test. And then we also, we wanna make sure that we actually hook this up to the right sequence. A lot of people forget that step and then they wonder why, you know, the person isn't getting the follow-up messages. This is why. So make sure that you do that and then click save. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this sequence. Here we go. And we're going to make sure to turn, oh, you can't turn those on until you have a message, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to follow up with them pretty quickly after we give them the lead magnet. So however much time they need to consume the lead magnet. Maybe it's like 15 minutes for a short ebook, or maybe it's a webinar presentation and they need about an hour or 90 minutes to watch it. Whatever that amount of time is, you want to pretty much follow up like right when you think they're going to be done with it. Okay, so you want it to be, let's say if it's an ebook, we'll probably say like 15 minutes. Okay, and just leave these as they are, and we'll do save and update schedule. So this one's going to come 15 minutes after they opt in. And let's just say, um, hey, first name. By the way, let me know if you guys have any questions about this um, during, I can't see it right now, but I'll read over the questions that you guys leave in the comments um, at the end. And also, if you're watching the replay of this, comment hashtag replay, all right? So, okay, we're gonna say, hey, first name, something like that, did you, um, and then we can say, by now you have, learned, and then you're gonna rehash the things that they learned, okay? This is like a psychological, you just wanna make sure and reiterate the things that they've learned um, from before, and like also, and just kinda like remind them that you have given them value, right? So I would just copy and paste whatever you had, the four check boxes that we had before. Um, I'm not gonna go back and like do all that, but I would just copy and paste the exact same things, this is what you've learned, and then say, do you have a plan to or you can say something like, what's the next, so what's the next step for you? Next step for you. Do you have a plan to achieve X in the next 30 days? And so this is gonna be like the big core deliverable of whatever your coaching or consulting package is gonna be about, right? So if you're helping people get clients, um, you wanna say something like, you know, do you have a plan to achieve uh, you know, to get like five new clients in the next 30 days. If you're in the fitness niche, you're going to be like, do you have a plan to, you know, lose, lose 10 pounds in the next 30 days? Okay. So whatever it is, um, you're wanting, you're going to want to do that and rehash these, you know, as above or as before. So we'll do publish. And then I'm going to switch over here to flow builder because it's going to be a lot easier to visualize. Then what we're going to do here, we're going to edit this again. And then we're going to say, most people, I mean, obviously the point of this is to get the people that are saying no. Um, and then here, this is, you can just say like, that's great. Um, and so happy to hear that. If you feel you need additional support or want 
to fast track your results. Um, I'm accepting like five new clients this month only. New clients this month. Um, so please, and again, you guys, I'm just doing this like really fast, kind of off the cuff. So you might want to, uh, obviously you would like, you know, fit this to your situation and you can use some more emojis. You can add, if you want to add like images to make it more personalized, you can do that too. Um, I'm just kind of showing you guys the basic strategy here. So I'm accepting five new clients this month. Um, click below. Below to book a free strategy session to see how I can help you and if we're a good fit to work together. And then something like that. And then right here you can put in your, actually if you wanted to, you could also have them put like a direct number. You can literally just put in a phone number here and it'll, it'll, call, it'll call you up. Um, so if you want that level of like access, if you want people to be able to call you right away, um, you can just click this and it'll, you'll be able to put in your phone number and people can call you when they press the button. Or you can do, um, send them to your calendar page. So it would be like uh, calendly.com forward slash and then whatever. We're just gonna leave that as is. And then we'll say book, book, call now, something like that. Okay, so this is if, you know, we want them kind of to, you know, ideally apply either way, no matter what they say. So that's why kind of why I did that. You can also, if you don't want to deal with people who say yes, you can just say that's awesome. Like, let me know if anything changes and I'm happy to help. Um, but we're going to do, we want the people that say no. Okay, and we're going to say something like, um, that's okay. First thing, we want to make them not feel bad. We don't want to put them in a state of like, um, feeling bad about themselves, right? <laughs> um, so we want to say something like, okay, that's okay, first name. A lot of people struggle with X. So again, this is going to be the thing that you, you know, teach people how to do, or you're going to be helping people how to, helping people with your coaching or with your consulting. Um, I've, and then you can say something like, over the past, past, like whatever, like, X months or years, um, I've been able to get to help incredible people and just like you get dramatic results fast. Fast. I'm currently accepting. I'm not going to fix all the typos anymore. <laughs> currently accepting five new clients. Um, this month and would love to support you in your goals goals as well. Click below to book a free strategy session session today. And then again, same thing right here, you guys. You would just put, uh, if you want to have them be able to call your phone number, you can do that or you can open a website to your calendar page. Okay, so that's what you would do there. Um, it's not going to let, I know it's not going to let me save, so we'll put it. And then, oh, we would say something like book a call now. That's it. So publish that one. So let's go back to the overall sequence. Oops. And then we'll send that. So we want to make sure that that follows up with them like pretty much right away after they're done consuming the lead magnet. Cause some people are going to, you know, the lead magnet is enough for them to like get on the phone with you and then sign up with you. Okay. What we also want to do though is we want to have a couple other follow-ups. So I'm not going to go into what, like, you know, exactly how to set all these up, but what I would do here is I would say, you know, something on after one day, I would leave these all spaced out as like after one day, I would say something like, um, you know, just continue to follow up with them. So one of them say like, hey, hey, first name, like, did you get a chance to read the free ebook? Um, if not, here's a link again, and here's the link to book a call with me. Something really quick and simple like that. Another one I would do is like show some social proof. So if you have testimonials, video testimonials, um, just text testimonials, anything like that, I would have another separate message like after day two maybe. Uh, showing all the testimonials and uh, just telling people about the results that you've been getting for others. 
And then another follow up, I would say something like, "Hey, you know, last call. I'm, I'm you know, my spaces are all filling up. Um, if you're if you're interested, this is kind of like the last call. So make sure that you book a call with me today." Um, so those can be super simple, but you want to follow up because not everyone's going to be ready um, right after they. Um, right after they consume your lead magnet. And then what I also like to do though, finally, um, I like to do something, this has worked really well for um, getting people kind of who, who were interested initially, but they just mentally, they're like not ready to commit right away. I would send one after like 12 days or something like that. And we'll say update. And then this one is gonna say like, hey, first name, like uh, I noticed that you were interested in, you know, coaching before and one spot or like one or two spots just opened up, um, you know, for today or for this week only. Um, and I expect these to fill up very, like very quickly. If you're still interested in working together, then make sure to book your call like today before the spaces run out. And I hope to hope to chat with you soon, something like that. So this one actually does pretty well. Um, if people don't unsubscribe throughout the sequence. All right. Thanks so much guys. I hope you loved this video. If you did be sure to give it a like, I wish there were a way to give it a love. Uh, but on YouTube, you can only give it a like. So please give it a like if you enjoyed this content and be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below if you want to get more free, awesome content from me. Thanks so much, guys. This has been Nico Moreno here and be sure to follow me on Instagram and also join our free community down below. I've got a link to a free Facebook group where other awesome people like you are all learning about chatbots and how to use them to grow their business, right? So I'm going to leave a link down in the description box and I hope to see you guys there. Thanks so much, guys, and have an awesome day.